hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas time. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the windows in the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas in my heart Hi my lovely people, welcome back to my channel It's your girl, Lovely Eden, back with another video And today we are making some Christmas cupcakes so, I just preheated the oven, so that's what you just heard. Um, so, we got some regular traditional yellow cake mix, some oil, some eggs, cupcake little holders, I bought a little frosting, decorating thing there, some sprinkles, and some writing gel, and best part of all, some Frosting. So let's get started. Okay, so first is first. I forgot how to make cupcakes, guys. So we gotta read the instructions. Is it set up the oven for 350 for your height, which I did. On a pan, blah, blah, blah. Let's skip that. Combined cake mix. Oh my goodness, I totally forgot I need to do that. I forgot the milk. So, milk. So we have milk. Now it says combine the cake mix. So we got the little cake mix here. I haven't baked in so long, guys, so I totally forgot how to do this. Hope that I'm still anything. The struggle. I'm weak. Okay. So we put the flour in. Okay. After the flour, I forgot how to do this put water but I'm going I'm going to use milk instead and I got some measuring cups because I can't eyeball it like you guys do so we got some milk milk one cup pour it in there and then it says add half a cup of oil which I'm going to use a measuring cup once again because I'm better my measuring so we add some oil that's a lot of oil okay and three eggs so we got our eggs hopefully the shell doesn't fall in there if not you'll have some cupcakes with the ooh. Next, we are going to mix everything in, okay? So let's see how this goes. It's gonna take a minute. Mix, 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 mixing, mix. So it says that this mixing process takes up to two minutes. So, oh, it smells good. You smell it? Mix, 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 mix. So you have to wait until you see those white chunks. It's so chunky. So I'm going to possibly get a fork to make sure that all the yolk from the eggs is completely evenly mixed with the batter. So I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna grab the fork. And then we're going to mix, 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 mix. Okay. You have to test it. Oh, that's good. That's good, good batter. Okay, something I like to do. Um, a lot of people do it, a lot of people don't. I like to have all my cupcakes even. So, I'll possibly use either the half the cup or the one third, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe the one fourth. Maybe the one fourth. One fourth. And I will evenly put some mix into these cups so 
And we have some cooking spray. And I just want to put a tad bit. And then we got some peppermint looking cups that I'm going to place down. Grab it. Pour it in there. So you're not supposed to really fill up the cup completely due to the fact that they rise up. If you fill up the cup completely, it rises up. So it's good to leave it at least halfway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one fourth for each and then whatever's left I'll try to even now. I'm going to continue doing this and then I'll show you guys once the cupcakes are done. So now we have all our cupcakes inside. We started? Mm -hmm. So now we're going to open the oven and we're going, ooh it's hot. And we're going to place them inside. And then it says that we need to wait 19 to 23 minutes. So I'm going to put 25 and just check before. So timer and then I'm going to put, I'll put 23, I'll just, mm, 24, an extra minute. Yeah, 25. And then I'm gonna just press start. And what I'm going to do when it hits 20 minutes, I am going to poke into the cupcake and a way to check the cupcake is you can either use this or a toothpick and basically you use, um, put the point into the cupcake and basically if the batter comes on the fork that means that it's not completely done but if the batter does not come on the fork or on the toothpick that means that your cupcake is ready to eat you learn something new mm -hmm. you learn something new so yeah I'll be back. So I ended up buying this reusable frosting thing. It's so cute. And I just realized back over there, you'll see me later trying different ones. It came with a lot of different, I don't know what it's called. What would you call this? I don't know. What would you call this? Tips. Tips? The tips of the, I don't know, to mm. decorate. It came with a lot of different designs on it. So I'm going to be trying all of them out today for you guys. And yeah, so in here, you put the actual cream. In there and then I forgot to mention we had leftover little candy canes from the frozen gingerbread house castle whatever so we're gonna be using that to decorate the cupcakes it's so cute so guys I am going to be checking with the method that I just told you guys I'm gonna be poking them they actually came out really big cupcakes guys I think I put too much um, batter in there but only one of them looks normal oh this is hot so I'm just gonna poke on it so there's nothing on it, so that means it's done. Yep. 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 Done. Usually it will be like legit, the batter on the fork. So, as you can tell, there's nothing on it, so that means they're all done. So I'm taking them out and I am going to put the place them on this sheet over here so then I could decorate them. This is the only one that looks normal. The other ones look so big. They're so good. And as you can tell, it's not burnt on, on the bottom and it's coming out smoothly because we put some spray so it didn't stick to the pan. Yes, and those are my cupcakes. Oh my god, they look so cute. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is I have this rest of the batter in here. So I'm going to be taking those and then I'm going to decorate them. So let's do this. Hi. So the cupcakes. Done. Now I have to decorate. So I'm going to try one of these little tip things and then I'm, there's a whole bunch more. So I'm going to try different ones. So let's start. I'm going to start off with the small one.
So I just put cream on that. It looks like nothing. You know what you're supposed to put? A uh, rubber band or something mm -hmm. to hold it. I am not this so raw, guys. Be here for days. Better off using a spoon, guys. So now I am going to decorate. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. These little uh, flakes from the frozen thing came in handy. Icing and they're falling apart, and yeah, it's so pretty. So, I'm gonna leave that one like that. Cute. I did that, guys. No, he did that. So, I'm putting sprinkles. Oh, this is This is decorating time. How was it? Fourth of July. So my favorite one so far is this one. That was so pretty. These are the cupcakes so far. So we have red swirled with sprinkles, red and green gel, sprinkles and snowflakes, sprinkles and snowflakes blue. My favorite one right there. That was so pretty. And then we have red. And blue sprinkles red sprinkles only and red so that's how the cupcakes are looking so far let's see if it comes out smooth or not so that's how it looks without it Ooh, look how it looks so I think it looks good right mm -hmm. let's see let me show you the camera and then let's take a bite This came out good. It really did. Need a little better. Good. Mmm. It's a ten for me. You want to smell? I'm done. So, guys, this is my cupcake. This is the final product. I left two here. I'm decorated so in case someone doesn't like all this decoration so yeah these are my lovely cupcakes and yeah this is I still have it no you're good so this is vlogmas number 13 so make sure you like comment share subscribe this is your girl lovely Ina, and these are my lovely 